Ready for this shit, bud? Fuck yeah, boy. Ready as I will fucking ever be. <laughs> All right, well, the first portion of the drive is done. A little over five hours. We're here at Coloma, made a slight change of direction. Now, I'm gonna pack up the boat and then do the last five hours to Bishop's Pass. Get ready to hike in the morning. Ready to rumble. Ready to suffer. It's all loaded and ready to go. Hopefully my DIY backpack system works well. All right, I think she'll do. Boats are loaded. Now we just have five more hours to get to Trailhead. I'm gonna start hiking Easy. after about two hours of sleep, maybe three. Well, 12 a.m. on the dot. Now, all we have to do is sleep about four hours, maybe a little more, hike about 12, 13 miles up over the pass and in one of the sickest sections in the world. All right, it's 5 a.m. and I can already see the peaks coming out the sunrise and I have a feeling this is going to be an just insane hike, so fired up. So stoked to get this thing started. See how long it takes. Well, the mosquito is the next level of savage. This hike, so epic. Probably about three hours in. Finally made it past the lake onto the stout switchbacks. Gotta go up and over all this. It's gonna be stout. The views here are insane though. So sick. I think I made it to the top. Or it's just a really nice fall summit. Really hope it's the first one. Hell yeah, made it over the pass. Had about 12,000 feet right now. I think we started around 10,000, so we've gone up about 2,000 feet, and then we have about 2,500 or 3,000 feet or something like that, drop all the way down to the river, maybe even more, I think it might be like 3,500. So about four hours ago. But this place is insane. Assuming I found the right drainage, and didn't make any wrong turns. Should be the river down there. It's a hard hike, but the most epic hike I've ever been on. Oh damn, I can see the river. Damn. Well, that was not my most efficient hike in ever. Mostly it didn't help that my backpack system failed and ripped and, and then I was shouldering it for more than half the hike and that always is a little rough with all the overnight gear, but finally made it. These boys were a lot faster. They got here like six and a half hours, took me about eight and a half. But we're here now and it's nothing but kayak from here on out. Stop. It took me way too many years, but I am so fucking fired up to be in the middle king. Alright, looks manageable as a I think down there on the wall is going to be our first campsite to get our energy up for the next two days of potential really stout guy because it sounds like the water is kicking pretty high. But. Anything else that you could want? 
More water? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe not more water. Nice little blood on the first day. The bear. Alright, it's about 7 o'clock and we're going to be getting on the water quite early because we have a lot of white water coming before the next camp. But also, we we're hoping it'd be a little lower early in the morning just because we're so close to the top of this river, so close to the source. But the water is actually a little higher, which means that this is going to be one of the stouter levels that you would actually come into here. Either way, it's going to be sick. Just look at the gorge we're going into. that job but this teacher is the only other one that's run that hell intimidating but it was <laughs> Down there where you get out on the left apparently and right now there's water falling off of the eddy where you normally get out. It's like I'm walking this one. Maybe next time. This thing is Slide, slide, slide. And make sure you get right because there is a fucking blue hole spot. Day of kayaking. You camp somewhere you can't see the dome in here, you're a goddamn idiot. How, how could you ever that was Damn. fucking So apparently from the top of that dome, it's basically the height we were at this morning when we started kayaking today, to where we are now, seven and a half hours. That's how much gradient we dropped. Perhaps even more apparently. Final day. I am stoked and curious to see what's downstream as we have the bottom nine left, which is supposed to be super stacked, high volume boulder gardens, and with the amount of juice that we have right now, it sounds like there's gonna be some big old holes. Pretty pretty fired up to see what's to come. We'll see how long it takes and uh, just fired up to finish this thing off strong. It's been such an epic trip. But first, stop us. Back at it.
was just over three and a half hours through the whole bottom nine. No quarter did for myself. Now, after the cop was, apparently we had the Gully Falls section, which might have some south. Either way, today has already been so epic. I can't wait to see my last lap. Ugh! Running so steady. <laughs> dude, thank like you, buddy, dude. That was. I would have been so sad if I lasted, and then people started hiking in. Oh my god, dude. that was all time. <sighs> One of my new favorite runs in the world for sure. <sighs> so good.